Well, last night we received an email from one of the Remembrance Scholars saying the statement Syracuse University released on Tuesday was published without any of the group's input or consent. And they say the university statement does not reflect how the cohort feels. And the group also sent us a statement signed by 32 of the 35 Remembrance Scholars. That's it right there on your screen. And part of it reads, the undersigned would like to express that the way Jason and Eric Coker have been honored the past 35 years is disingenuous to the, in, it, to the information uncovered. And we must alter the way they are remembered. And the statement also reads, in the spirit of acting forward, this cohort will refocus the mission of remembrance toward education and advocacy that combat hatred, especially anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, and racism. When we hope to lay the foundation for future cohorts of remembrance and Lockerbie scholars to continue this work. And this comes two days after SU sent us a statement about the anti-Semitic materials. Part of SU's statement says anti-Semitism has no place on our campus. It also says Eric and Jason Coker were, quote, imperfect people who did not have the opportunity to confront their biases, a message the scholar's statement did not express. And to find both statements, visit CitrusTV.com. Reporting live in studio, John Perrick, Citrus TV News. Guys.